Welcome to sixth grade, chapter five, lesson four. We're going to go ahead and get started with number two. Um, so you see all of this. It's kind of confusing. So what we're going to do, we're going to write it right here so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. But then, okay, we know that to turn a percent into a decimal, we're just going to move that decimal over here. So I'm going to have point five five times because of means times every time 600 okay so now that is going to be easy okay so i'm going to i'm going to put the 600 on the bottom for a reason i'll show you in just a second and we're going to multiply them okay so see those two zeros boom one two Okay, six times five is 30, carry the three. Six times five is 30 again, plus three more, is 33. So now I need to go in one, two times, one, two times, 330. Okay, all right. All right, we're gonna do the same thing for the next one. Okay, taking up less paper. Okay, so 4% of 50, okay? Well, currently the decimal's right there, but moving it to a decimal, I need to go one, two, which means I need to put 0 0.04 times 50. Yes, I put the 50 on the bottom because it ends in zero, okay? So now I'm gonna take that zero and I'll put it over there. Okay, now five times four is 20, carry our two, five times zero is zero plus two, two. So now I just need to go in one, two places, one, two places, two. 4% of 50 is two. Okay. All right, so. All right, just a second. Okay, there we go. All right, so one more time, okay? 50% of 82. Well, first of all, 50% means half of it. So before I even do the math, I can just cut those numbers in half and go 41. So it's 41, okay? Don't strain yourself, guys, okay? Okay, so the next one's gonna be easy too because it says 10% of 2,350, okay? Well, let's see how we do, okay? So we're gonna say, well, I'm actually gonna put the 10 on the bottom this time. So two, three, Five zero times 10, and I'm gonna take that zero, and I'm gonna put it on the end, and I'm gonna go one times two, three, five, zero. Two, three, five, zero. Now, we know that that was actually 0.10 because that's the way I did that, of course. So now I need to go in one, two places, one, two places, 235, okay? which makes sense because if we multiply 235 by 10, we would get to put a zero there. Okay. All right, guys, you guys do number six. I'm gonna do number seven just because it's a three digit number and I'm gonna show you how, okay? So we're gonna do 160% of 30. Now, see that 100? It means that your number is going to be more than 30 because you have 100% of 30, which is 30, plus another 60% of 30, which is more. Okay? So don't be confused when your number winds up being more than 30. Okay? So right now the decimal is there. I need to move it one, two times. That gives me 1.60 times 30. I'm going to take off these two zeros. I'm going to put them at the end. Okay? Now I'm gonna go six times three is 18, carry my one, 
three times one is three plus one more is four. So now I went in one, two places, one, two places, 48. Okay, so that's number seven. Don't confuse yourself, it's not number six. Okay, so now you guys do, so you're gonna do six and then you're gonna do eight through 12. Okay, you can totally do it, okay? All right, we are gonna go down to number 13. And it says that the recommended daily amount of vitamin C for children 9 to 13 years old is 45 milligrams. A serving of juice contains 60% of the recommended amount. How much vitamin C does the juice contain? So, 45 times 0.60. Okay, I'm going to take off that 0 and put it at the end. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. 6 times 4 is 24 plus three more is 27. Now I'm gonna go in one, two places, 27 milligrams, okay? Being measured in milligrams, okay? Write down your work, it is important, okay? I'm gonna go over this one. During a 60 minute television program, 25% of the time is used for commercials and 5% of the time is used for opening and closing credits. How many minutes remain for the program itself? So. What I would do is I would say 25 and five equals 30, right? Out of 60, okay, so out of 100% of the time, I'm gonna take away that 30, okay? Because we're, we only wanna know how much remains for the program, not for the commercials and opening and closing, okay? That's 70. Okay, so now we're going to do 70 times those 60 minutes, okay, but it's going to be 0.70, of course, okay, so I'm going to take off those two zeros and I'm going to put them at the end, and then 6 times 7 is 42, so now I'm going to go in my one, two places, 42, 42 minutes, okay. There you go. Okay, write down your work. Okay, so the 25 and the 50 are how I got the 30. Or sorry, the 25 and the 5 are how I got the 30. And then out of the 100%, I took that away so that I knew how much was left. Okay, all right, we're going to go into the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check, just like most of the time. Okay, we're going to go down and do the spiral review. Okay. Okay, just a second here. Okay. All right. Three of the following statements are true. Which one is not true? Okay. So the absolute value of negative 12, which is just 12, is bigger than 1. That's true. Okay. The absolute value of 20, which is 20, is bigger than the absolute value of negative 10, which is 10. So that's true. The absolute value of 0, which is 0, is bigger than negative 4. That's true. Or six is smaller than the absolute value of negative three, which is three. That is not true. Okay? Six is not bigger than three. Not true. Okay? All right. I'm not even going to try and say that name. Can type 135 words in three minutes. How many words can she expect to type in eight minutes? So, first, I'm going to divide to how much. Find out how many words she typed in one minute. So I'm going to do the 135 and I'm going to divide that by three. Okay, so three is not going to go in to one placeholder. Three will go into 13 four times for 12. Subtract and get one. One is smaller than three. Bring down my five. So three times five is 15. Okay, so 45 words in one minute. Okay, so that means. Okay, and I need to know how many in eight minutes. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes. And if one minute is 45, okay, I'm, I could sit here and I could fill all of that out, 
but I'm just going to take that 8 and multiply it by 45. Okay, 8 times 5 is 40, carry the 4. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 4 is 36. So 360 words. Okay. All right. Which percent represents the model? If you'll remember, this whole thing is 100, okay? So all you have to do is count how many are shaded in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my first number is 6, and then 1, 2, 3. 63%. That's it, guys. Don't make it harder than it's got to be. Okay? About three-fifths of the students at Roosevelt Elementary School live within one mile of the school. What percent of the students live within one mile of the school? Well, let's do some math, shall we? Three-fifths means that we put the three inside, the five outside. Okay? So, five is obviously not going to go into three. Put our decimal into zero. Now, six. Okay, six times five, 30. Subtract to zero. Now, in order to move a decimal to a percent, we have to move the decimal one, two times this way, which means I need to put a zero there, which now makes it 60%. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 5.4. Come on back for 5.5. See you soon.